Now, we'll be moving on to look at good news from the global African states. Let's find out what are some of the great innovations, initiatives that are impacting or changing lives here on the continent and in the diaspora. So we'll start by taking good news. 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 So the first good news I want to talk to you about has to do with a county in Kenya. And they're looking to take the robotics program to early childhood education schools. Now we're talking about the Mabasa County that has taken a strong approach towards the development of robotics in ECDs across Kenya. That's early childhood development centers across Kenya and I feel this is a good step uh, somewhere two weeks ago we did a story about that in another African country that was looking to implement it in the high school program look the early child the, that, like the child's brain at that time is a fertile soil that's where the interest will be picked from that is where they get to build and develop on what they want to zone in on that's where they actually the curiosity there is so high so for that to start at that point is so amazing you know at that point there's nothing like you can't do this you can't do that you'll be able to make no they pick a keen interest in it and as they grow it doesn't seem like a foreign element to them anymore it doesn't look like something they can't do they actually are introduced to it in the basic form and as they grow and climb the ladder of education, they get introduced to different and more advanced options. These are the future leaders. These are the ones that are going to come and be able to use technology to solve problems that we have on the continent, as a people, nations, everywhere. So if we encourage this as the Mobasa County is doing, I think it's a good thing and it's a laudable idea. The initiative is amazing. Now, this was officially launched by the Anwar Ahmed. He was the county chief of ICT and he said the project to actually target 12,000 learners. <music> Now, Anwar has also revealed that he wants to reach out across 98 of the public early education learning facilities across the country in the first phase. So this shall further expand to 200 privately owned facilities. Thus far, it's been fully funded by the Mobasa County government with no cost passed down to parents or students and he has a broader five-year vision that is to see the county transform into a technology hub and involve global tech giants to participate look like i don't know if you guys want me to add more but this is amazing this is a beautiful and a lovely thing he's doing and i think with the right and needed support he'll be able to push it higher <laughs> But you can read more and find more about the story on our website, www.africaglobalradio.com. Just head over there and you will love to see the amazing things. Now, moving on to the next AGR good news. I was thinking of starting with art, oh, but let's end on the art, artistic note. And let's go to, you know, Rwanda coffee. I don't, I've not seen more taking coffee before. Are you a, are you a coffee fan? Like you don't like coffee, do you? I don't like, I, I've not seen her. She mostly takes tea, tea, tea. So I don't know if she's a, Are you a coffee fan? I drink Nescafe. Yep, are you a coffee fan? The fact that you drink it does not mean you're a fan of it. Can you drink it like five times in a week? No. But I could take um, coffee. I like coffee shakes. I like iced lattes. Frappuccinos. <laughs> coffee toffees. Yeah, I like coffee toffees. So. Yeah. I see that. We should open a coffee factory for you. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've heard her. She likes, I mean, coffee shakes, you know, ice frap. Yeah. What was that word you mentioned again? Coffee latte? Ice latte. Ice latte. Okay. The ice lattes. And well, Rwanda's coffee is amazing. In Africa here, we d we have countries that pro they do both tea and then also coffee now rwanda's coffee is is gone beyond the african market we know it's on the global market as well but in china rwanda's coffee is actually seen a 400 percent rise in sales and one key thing that has contributed to this is the fact that it was actually being driven by 
online platforms. Now, this is something that the president of the country, I mean, we look, we're talking about Paul Kagame, highlighted during the country's strong economic output. He gave a speech and he also spoke about the fact that they produce the seeds locally and this has effectively bridged the import-export gap. So when it comes to agriculture, agriculture exports in 2020 alone actually fetched Rwanda over 400 million U.S. dollars. <music> Now, out of that 400 million, you, I mean, over that figure, out of that, a good amount of that was coming from gains in the coffee sector. And we have the Chinese market that has literally seen the astronomical growth in terms of purchase of Rwandan coffee. This is like, it's become amazing. We have a key one that has actually, you know, it's one key platform that most people use. And we're talking about Alibaba. A lot of people across China and globally purchase Rwandan coffee through that platform. And for you see, the fact that you know quality resides here and you go in search of it, you just you don't want any other shortcut. You're just coming straight home for what is quality is amazing. If Rwanda actually keeps building on the coffee sector, last year was I mean over four hundred million US dollars. This year you have no idea how high the prices could go. But congrats to them. It's amazing. They should keep producing the quality coffee that they do. And finally, we're looking at a spoken word hangout that is targeted at tackling core issues in Nigeria. And I believe it's it's a lovely way of using a different form of art to actually put the strict and main issues on the table bring everybody to the table let's discuss let's look at it but take off the formal outfits and take away the strict way of talking and discussing paperwork no let's put it in the form in a medium that people understand appreciate and can participate in spoken word <laughs> So we have Ask Ifa NG and they have devoted their time towards the development of raw talents in the most unconventional form of art. And it's basically a a technology-based website that has been doing this for the past six months. They use their spoken words, Hangouts. It's basically their way of giving back to the community of young Nigerians who want to harness their skills in the craft of spoken word. It's 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 beautiful because they do it every monthly every month. They actually sit, they tackle one core issue, a social issue, and they use poetry. So everybody comes on stage, talks about it, use the you know the way they, they go up you know spoken word, everybody and how they flow. Those who do the rapping, those who do the dropping, those who you know, the minuets, those who come in between, the ones that have music, everybody and how they do it. But then they talk about the critical social issue that they're facing. And from then, they're able to sit and look for a way forward. And one thing they've been doing, the theme of the month so far uh, for this month has been sex trafficking, slavery saving. So this has seen a lot of people who have come on stage, talk about it, find different, different ways. And they actually award, you know, they have a spoken word battle, so they give them awards. And in attendance, they bring key people in places of power so they can actually understand, know that we can see there's a problem. And then the solutions from there are brought onto the table. But kudos to them. Ask Ifa Nigeria. There's a good thing you guys are doing. I believe we have a couple of them that are underground, a couple of them that are still doing amazing things. Let's let's render support to our art industries, to the young creatives that are coming up and using creative ways to find a way to solve the problems of the countries. <laughs> And they actually give a prize, an award to the person who wins. So you can just imagine how the people will do well, you know. Put in a lot of effort to win an amount of money as you talk about an issue and we fight towards a solution. Well, that's all we have for you for good news for today. You can always head over to our website and you get more. 